it's Tuesday and it's been a crazy day so far. No, it, it's it's just LaFroy. It's not beer. <laughs> I kind of wish it was though because that's kind of damn heaven. Um, actually, it's been really good. So, let's talk about what I've been doing. I just finished eating lunch and this has been the morning. Oh, please disregard my gross sink. But this also happened. <laughs> I completely, I don't know if you could tell what happened, but I completely poured over the side. It was not good. <laughs> um, okay, so what has happened today? You know what, and like, it's the weirdest thing because I literally, um, I poured... Yesterday, I did sea salt and orchid, which is so, so good. It's lovely. Um, and I did my grandpa scent, which is the most masculine scent I have ever smelled. Ever. And it's a, a custom blend, so that's cool. I did that one yesterday. I made my son a sample bar, I believe. Or maybe I made him a full bar. I don't know. He loves that scent and he really, the kids like it. That's cool too. Uh, but today I did um, peppermint samples because I sold a holiday blend or a holiday sample pack. I don't know if I told you about that. Um, so I did peppermint and apple pie and the balsam fur, the one that smells like Christmas tree. Um, Mama's apple pie and peppermint. Um, I did one that I call farmhouse today. So I have two of those, two full bars of those that are going to the retreat that I told you I was doing. And um, then after all of that, I got to my spiced pear, which is such a good scent. And maybe subconsciously, I wanted some soap for myself. Um, but I was supposed to do three full bars of that and two sample bars of that. Because one of them needed to go into, um, into the, what do you call it? Into the holiday pack. And then I wanted one for myself because I haven't used that in months. Um, and it's, it's truly one of my absolute favorite scents that I've ever tried. Um, it's so, so good. Anyway, I ended up somehow, like, forgetting that I needed a full third bar. <laughs> and so I just poured another, uh, sample and then was like, why do I have so much extra? And so I poured it into, um... The top, I topped the others off. So they're going to be more than they're supposed to be. And that's okay. That's not a huge deal. But I still needed another third bar. And then I went to do the math for that and realized, please disregard how messy my table is right now. And this one's messy too. Um, I went to pour two more for two more full bars because the three full bars were gonna go and I kind of wanted an extra one for if somebody bought another one I don't have to measure it but anyway I just like completely overshot it and of course it wasn't on the mat and so it ended up all over the counter and I had to rush over grab a paper towel so that it didn't like pour onto the floor so yeah Oh, and I went to do the math for that. That's what I was saying. I went to do the math for that and realized that I was supposed to be on a call for a, a collaboration group that I am in. Uh, it's more like kind of a mastermind type thing. Um, <laughs> and I was 20 minutes late. So needless to say, I poured it over the counter after my call. But that call was really good. I enjoyed it. And uh, um, I've been to the grocery store because I needed to get more labels because I upgraded my labels. I'm very excited. I'll share that in a post. 
on here sometime, uh, what my new labels look like. Uh, oh, and I bought, without showing you all of our mail, I bought this dude. I am so stoked for this. So, I've wanted a hand mixer for a while. I can't remember if I had one. I don't think I've had one. Um, but this is specifically going to be for the business. Um, and I might go buy another one for the house. But, all I had was my stand mixer for our house. And I really don't want to use that for um, scrubs and stuff. So, and I wanted to be able to make smaller batches of body butter, and um, that is the only way I'm going to be able to do that. I just realized it's the afternoon when I'm recording this, so I can actually go in my office and not have it be crazy bright. Um, okay. Okay. So yesterday, the other thing that happened is I ordered a budget planner. Um, I bought a paper planner today while I was at Walmart. Um, actually, that's what I wanted to show you. I bought a paper planner at Walmart. It was $5 on clearance. And I'm actually really excited about this because I've needed something like this. And I just haven't bought it. Plus, it's animal print. Oh my god. So, um, it's a big sky one. Which they have those at Target and at Walmart. Um, the... What was I going to show you? Oh, this. Okay. So, one of the things that stresses me out about trying to find my fragrance that I'm going to use that day is that I have them in this container. But, and the bottles look <clears throat> like this, right? They're all covered in cat hair, sorry. Um, that's why they need to be put away. But the tops, so when you open up the thing, all you see is this, right? So you have to pull out each freaking one to figure out what scent you're trying to look for and so if you own a, a fragrance manufacturer manufacturer manufacturing company one thing that i would love for you all to do is to write on the top what fragrance it is okay so i bought these they're little like right on labels um, and they are three quarters of an inch so and they're removable so I'm hoping we'll see I am truly genuinely hoping that those fit the top of that if they don't I just realized that I have that Bluetooth label maker that sucks so bad for my cash envelopes. My hand smells good now. <laughs> um, I could use it for that purpose. We'll see. Um, so anyway, I want to write on these what the fragrance is so that I could just open it up and know exactly what I'm looking at. Just a big, it's a huge thing. My room is a mess. Um, it's driving me crazy. I am almost finished with the website merger for Amber Slocum Consulting. Um, so almost finished with that. I can't remember what I have left. It's not much. Um, I did go in and adjust the pricing for the, um, I was calling it the accountability program, but that's not it. And that was something I brought up in my call today. And I said, you know, I just need a name for this. And somebody suggested play date and that didn't really sit with me. Um, 
Then somebody else suggested a pacing call, but that doesn't make any sense either. So, um, you know, it's kind of one of those things where, like, the name you give something is, is pretty important. So, um, <clears throat> still, right now, it's just the DIY bookkeeping check-in program. <coughs> Which doesn't work either. So there's that. Um, a very interesting program. Uh, email from my. Uh, oh. Nice, nice, nice. All right. The flaming candle is has warmers now. That's new. Um. So here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find the cost for the check-in program right now because I know the last time I talked to you it was one thing and then I went to move everything over and changed my mind so we had yesterday last night so I love chicken pot pie it's one of my favorite things to eat but I don't like it in an actual pie because it's never enough crust. And then the bottom layer of crust is always so soggy um, and gross. And I don't like it. So years ago, I found this recipe for, um, you use, uh, shoot, what are those called? Crescent rolls. And now, genius, they actually sell a sheet of crescent rolls. So that's cool but uh use that on the bottom and the top so it was a little bit thicker and that was delicious however then i got the idea of just putting making the filling it always took forever to to make that um and then i got the idea of taking the filling making the filling and then just putting it over um biscuits like you would for Biscuits and gravy, and I've never looked back. It's It takes at least well under half the time. It's just as good. You get a thick layer of, because you cut the biscuit in half, right? And then you lay them out, and then you pour the stuff on top. And then yesterday, instead of, I was... It, before this just buying a bag of mixed vegetables and that's how I was making it um but I noticed there were always like four green beans in that whole bag and you're like where are my green beans because they were one of my favorite parts right and so each of us got like two and the rest of it was just an overwhelming amount of carrot and I'm like we're gonna not we're gonna do this differently so I bought peas and carrots together. Oh, and there was always way too many carrots and they were like the worst part of the carrot. So I'm like, we're just gonna make this differently. So I went and I got frozen peas and carrots together. Um, though I think I would do just for, I had the idea of doing fresh carrot and I think next time I will do fresh carrot. Um, but doing, um, <clears throat> We're adding just straight canned carrots in there. But anyway, just so I can control the amount of carrot that goes into the meal. Um, but it wasn't bad. And uh, I did, so peas and carrots in a bag. And then I bought a whole separate thing of green beans. And then um, canned corn, which I would use a different canned corn. Just buy good canned corn. And... Um, so you just mix everything up into, you saute all of that, right? Get it nice and soft and then pull it out. Make your, your sauce like you would, right? With the butter and then the flour and um, your chicken broth because you're using canned chicken. So two cans of chicken, you could probably use fresh chicken, but I just didn't have any. And I needed the broth to be able to use for the thing. So once you've got your butter and flour, your roux made, then you're going to put the milk in and the, um, the broth. Get that a little bit thickened 
put the chair or put everything back in um, and you salt the uh, the veggies before you while you're sauteing them put everything back in the pan and then add some pepper break it all up and get it nice and coated in the sauce and let it all just kind of meld for a couple of minutes and you're done like it's super duper fast like it took me as long I think the um the biscuits take like 12 minutes to make right and I was done within five minutes of the biscuits being done it comes together in under 20 minutes and it's delicious and my kid loves it it's full of vegetables everything is good to go um he's not you know like averse to vegetables so i don't have to worry about that but it is something that i try and keep tabs on if that makes sense so if you would like that recipe or you would like to watch me make that let me know and i'm happy to share that with you because it, like it's so good like it's just so so good anyway i hope you guys have a good day um tomorrow oh shoot i was actually trying to tell you things <laughs> hold on give me a second all right let me get you the updated pricing for that the check-in program so the check-in program has so for $9 a month, you get the text or email check-in. Um, I need, just realized I need to take the accountability word out of this um, as well. Uh, you still get the email reminders about federal tax deadlines and federal tax payments. Um, and then if you have any questions, like you could just leave those up and get a 60 minute call. Uh, with me to ask any questions all at once kind of thing and then um, if you want to do the elevated check-in that one gets you the same everything that comes in the nine dollar one right um, but you get up to six questions per month via email and uh, it's $29 a month so I really lowered the price um, I wanted this to be really really accessible and something that's kind of a no-brainer um, so and then again you can still do the 60 minute call for a hundred dollars kind of thing so anywho if that's something that you are needing because I believe that every small business um should have that in their in their life <laughs> if you're doing your own bookkeeping and somebody isn't doing it for you you need somebody to kind of check in and make sure that you're actually doing that stuff and you're keeping track of those things um because doing it at the end of the year you are inevitably gonna miss something and you're gonna be leaving money on the table and nobody wants to do that so all right, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you all later. See ya. Bye.